Hey people, today I've got a review of some Mac software. Now, have you ever wanted to tidy up your computer? If you've got things like duplicate files in the back of your machine, or you may have duplicate music, there's loads of things that you may want to clean up on it. Now there's this brilliant bit of software, I, I've been using it for quite a while now, I've used number 2 before, and now they've just brought out a number 3 version, but it is called Tidy Up. It's a brilliant little bit of software, it retails for about £30, you can get it from their website, so uh, if you just go into Google and type in tidy up with an exclamation mark on the end of it, and you'll come straight across it. So this is a number three version, it's got like a picture of a basket and two files in it. Literally, it's just designed to be uh, much easier to use, um, a bit neater as well. But what they do, they, they make it very simple on the way you function and find your computer's software. Because one thing I've noticed quite a lot is if you are a user of iPhoto, now what iPhoto does is that wherever you have your normal photo files, it'll keep them there, but it will also copy them and it'll make a copy into its own iPhoto folder. So somewhere in the machine you're making duplicates of photos. So the thing is, this can take up a lot of room over time the more and more photos you develop. So this is where they make it simple. You either have down on the left hand side here, you can select what uh, type of thing you want to search between. So you can say, I want to search between my Macintosh hard drive. Um, I want to search on, uh, in this case, my boot camp if we wanted to. Or we can search on extra hard drives through the applications folder and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to search through Macintosh uh, hard drive. And then down the right hand side, we have all sorts of options what to search for. So you can see straight away the first four are saying that we can search for images. Next three are music files, then application, emails, and other packages, and then miscellaneous. Now, they put them into different categories depending on what you want to do. So if you use Aperture, then it's best to search through that because they will be linked in a different way, different format, all this type of things. But for something that's like standard images, that's no problem. Now, let's say I'm going to search for images. Now, I did clean through my computer just the night before, so um, I may not find much. But it then gives you an option on the next stage saying, do you want to search for duplicate files so they're exactly the same? Or do you want to search for similar files? And then again, you can narrow them down. So you, I say, right, I want to have all kinds, or I want to only find JPEGs, all these type of things. In this case, I'm going to go all kinds. Next thing is press search down the bottom. It will give you an option saying, do you want to search through the slowest setting or the fastest setting? It's just on how thorough it is. Um, if you put it on the slowest setting, it'll probably take anything between five minutes, probably anything up to an hour, depending on how many photos you've got. So I'm just going to go fastest for this one. Scans through quickly on files. It's already finding some items, saying it's found 52, it's found uh, 200 odd, 288 files. It will give you then this other window. Straight away, it shows you actually what is duplicates. Now, you'll notice in this case, there isn't actually an extreme amount because a lot of these are uh, program starter files. you best not to delete these if possible because it might play around with your software. But say, for instance, if something like these two photos here, if they were actually a photo of my friends and I knew they were duplicates, I could say, right, I'm going to select one of them and then I could tell to send one to the trash little things like that. Makes it very simple, very quick and easy. Um, it works in the same way of like trying to find duplicate songs, if you want to say from TuneUp or other companies. It doesn't do as good as what uh, music developers do, you know. We'll try and find some tracks, but it's not to the extreme of finding the tracks. You can then tell to say, right, I'm going to leave it, that there's only going to be one of each file, so I can just select all of these, and then I can say, right, delete them all, that's all my duplicates gone. It's a very nice, very easy bit of software. I would highly recommend it, especially if you do want to clean it up. I've recommended it to a few of my friends so far and they've used it and they've loved it to bits because it is just that simple. You can say, right, Macintosh hard drive, select the photos and it's done. It saves so much space and when I first originally done this, I, I went through all my videos, my music, photos, documents, everything. I cleared probably about maybe 20 or 30 gigs off my hard drive because it was literally that much duplicates which are Mac copies from one place to another and you don't realize it. 
So as I said, this is a bit of software called Chute, sorry, not Tune Up, Tidy Up. Um, very easy, very elegant. Um, it sells at about £30, normally meant to be £39, but because this is a new software, it's uh, quite simple. I do actually have my old version still installed, actually. Um, I'll just compare the old one to the new one. So this is Tidy Up um, number two. Number one was even uh, a bit weirder before this and there's number two now uh, sorry number three so they have actually made it a lot neater a lot more smoother to get through and um, was a bit confusing with all these color categories and everything like that but you could use it you just had to know what you're doing but certainly I would recommend going out and getting this especially if you want to keep your machine tidy it is something that you will constantly use over time so I hope this has helped you and we'll see you next time goodbye